next witness is Detective Royce. Okay. Um, I would ask for a brief five-minute break for us to roll the evidence cart in here um, and get those exhibits ready. Well, I don't want to let them out because I just okay. brought them in, so they can. I, they see this all the time. Okay. I mean, it's back in the back, isn't it? Yes. Just roll it out. Judge, okay. we were going to request. Well, we can we can wait until it comes up, but I anticipate there's going to be some issues with the statements. Um, and what's allowed in from Detective Royce as opposed to let out. And I know that there had been some mention in doing that outside the presence of the jury. We can wait until it comes up if the court wants, but I and think that's going to be an issue. Um, I also, there were a couple of things that I wanted to address about the statements. Number one, the statements were both taken um, at PIU inside of the jail. I don't intend on mentioning that. Obviously, that's prejudicial to the defendants. Um, but in terms of laying a foundation for the statement, um, I'm putting it on the record, that's where they were taken, but I'm not going to ask that question from Detective Royce. That's fine. Also, at, um, when we did our motions in limine, Ms. Erskine stated that she does waive any sort of Crawford or um, Bruton issues in terms of Ms. Cecil's statement, and I just wanted to confirm that for the record. I mean, at this time, we, <laughs> we can't waive it if they're going to be allowed to bring, I mean, if they, they represented that they are not going to introduce any part of the statement or even the fact that it was a recorded Keep statement. I'm sorry. Keep your voice down. And then that was not what happened in opening. They 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 represented they were not going to introduce them and then they did introduce them. And so I think um, any representations that were made, you know, in response to them saying we're not going to introduce these statements are are off the table once they turned around and introduced the statement or at least indicated they were going to introduce the statement when they gave the opening argument. Uh, what I, what I, my motion to eliminate was to preclude the defense counsel from introducing an admissible hearsay. Right. Um, mm -hmm. I stated that I don't intend on playing the recorded statements, but I never said that I was not going to introduce statements through the detective. No, you, that's what you said you were going to do. Correct. They moved in eliminate that we were to ask that we not be allowed to make reference to the fact that there was recorded statements. And then they did themselves make reference to the fact that there were recorded statements. Well, there were statements. I don't know about recorded, but I know the Commonwealth intends through the detective to get in portions of the statements. We've all known that. It was said on the record yesterday or last week. So, um, uh, that's not a surprise. So, Let's see how it comes in, okay? That's fine. And wheel in your evidence. Okay. 